Sorry about that, babe. What's up, guys? Welcome back to part 14 of Bits Plays Final Fantasy on the NES. Well, I'm just move my microphone a little bit. All right. So, the last uh, part of the playthrough, I actually haven't played this in about five days. I acquired a ridiculous retro gaming lot that's been requiring lots of effort on my part as far as cleaning, organizing, moving things around, all that type of stuff. I'm still not even close to being done, but I figured it's time to jump back on the horse, you know what I mean? Because it's like, yeah, I got all these cool games and stuff, but at the end of the day, you gotta play them and enjoy them, right? So let's get back to Final Fantasy. So, in the last part, uh, we took down the lich that was in the Earth Cave, and as you could see, we have one of the orbs! Uh, so now, basically the next step is to go explore, you know, the areas that we have not explored yet. And the first place that we're gonna go is, uh, back towards Provoca, sort of. Um, where there's a bunch of places that you can go with, uh, water channels. And first we're gonna hit up, uh, Crescent Lake and go from there, basically. Um... I know that on this particular continent, continent, Jesus, continent, the ice cave is there. Um, and I think when I played the Game Boy Advance version, I think I got past the ice cave, and that's kind of when I stopped that one years ago. So, you know, roughly the midway point of the game, I guess you could say. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'll fight you guys. Absolutely. Um, do I have any spells left? A few. But yeah, the, uh... <clears throat> the Earth Cave wasn't too bad. Other than getting turned to stone, of course. That wasn't fun. But all in all, not too bad. And I feel like we're in a good place now, money-wise. Uh, that we should be able to... Buy a decent amount of stuff here. Let me move my map so I can... Check out what's for sale. In the Crescent Lake. Yeah, I remember this is the place with the, uh, Circle of the Sages. Uh, we have some- Ooh, I could buy the soft spell there, which I probably should to avoid any bullshit. Oh, and we got the exit spell. Nice. And lightning three. Perfect. Do we have enough money for those? Ooh, 20 Gs a piece. Oh, man. Hmm. Mm-hmm-hmm. -hmm -hmm. Damn, that's a tough one. I don't know how to approach that, actually. I don't quite have enough money to buy everything I want, which, you know, obviously is normally the case, but... I could grind a little bit, but I don't think I'm gonna do it on this playthrough. But right now we gotta get back to our ship. And go ask around Crescent Lake. Here we are. Okay, so if we're here, we would have to swim. <laughs> you move once and there you go. Um, we're gonna have to swim through the channel. You know what, I might equip that one sword for reuse since we're gonna be on the water quite a bit. Let me do that now. Weapon. Uh, trade. Boop. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna be on the water for the most part if we're, if we're on the overworld. Um, so I do think it's... ...probably wise... Yeah, we'll see. It's not really that much of a uh, strength drop-off from what I remember anyway. Okay, so we gotta go through... ...the channel, right? Which... I'm trying to get my bearings about me. Right here. Okay. And then, I think we just need to go down... We need to hit land, and then go down and try to swim through the channel. That's Corneria. Okay. That's probably like the <laughs> longest I've ever rode on the uh, ocean without getting a fight. I feel like since we're about to go to town, I might fight this just for the sake of doing it. Let's see. Hopefully this just kills them all in one hit. It should. <clears throat> Excellent. Probably doesn't yield much, but... 
Yeah, not much at all. Whatever. Can we swim? Oh, we can't swim through here. Um, hmm. Oh, you know what, guys? I might have to go... Yeah, now I'm starting to think that I have to go around the continent. Because if I'm unable to go through here, I don't think there's another entryway... No, there isn't. Alright, false alarm. We gotta go back. I'm pretty sure that we have to go back this way. Through the channel. <clears throat> and then if that's not the way, then I gotta really do some, uh, map examining, because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember if we do something, because eventually you can sail through those channels. I can't remember if we get like an upgrade for our ship or if we're just like we stop the flow or something along those lines, you know what I'm saying? But it's a little hazy at the moment. So this is what I think we need to do. We need to like hug the bottom here. Technically this is kind of like the bottom of the map. I'm just fighting stuff, man, just to get a little bit extra cash, honestly. Man, I'm surprised that we didn't kill the shark in one hit. Kinda sucks. <clears throat> Jimmy with the killing blow. Alright, now let's see if we could enter any of these channels from below, and if not, I think we have to dock and walk, which would be kind of shitty. That's there, okay, so can we enter any of these? That looks like that's a no. That's also a no. So if we can't enter this bottom one, I think we do need to walk a little bit, which kind of sucks. Let's see. Oh, yo, I remember that. The desert. Yeah. Well, we can't go there, can't go there, so yeah. Uh, options are limited, so we have two docking points. One of them is with a bunch of channels, and one of them appears to just be on land. But unless we can go into that body of water, then I'm missing something. So this is the dock with land. Oh, I actually can walk through there, okay. So, yeah, yeah, I think there's actually something in this town that probably fucks with the currents and allows me to uh, go against the stream, basically. But that remains to be seen. Hopefully we get into town in one piece. I don't remember what kind of monsters are over here. Oh, can we? Oh, you know what, guys? I don't even think we... Yeah, we can, we can, we can. Also, that's a big no. Big no. If Jimmy had some uh, attack all magic, then yes, but... Okay, there is... Crescent Lake. That's still a no for me, dog. I used all my goddamn magic. Don't poison me, please. Ugh, God. Terrible.
Well, those are certainly some annoying fights to have to uh, traverse back and forth through. Huh? All right. So let's see what we got here. We got the item shop. We got the inn. At the resurrection area. Let's talk to the townspeople first. See if there's any funny tombs. Maybe one here. Nope, just dead people. Rip. Light warriors, you can do it. Thank you. Thank you for that. <clears throat> this is a tomb. And this is a tomb. Dude, sleeping. What the fuck? Alright. Uh, I know we can go up and around, and there's like a kind of like a secret area. But first, let's kind of check out what we got going on in the shops. Alright, so silver. Which one has the. There we go. Busting out my chart, people. Alright. So they got silver across the board here silver hammer, silver axe. Alright. So, whoops, dropping my controller. Silver sword, which can only be used by me as of now. Me, I mean bits. Um, silver hammer, I think a few of my guys have that. Actually, maybe just raise. I'll double check. Silver axe can be used by bits. That does 2510. I think I've been over this before, right? Silver sword is 2315. Silver Axe is technically an upgrade, but I don't know if it's worth the gold expenditure at this point. So I think I'm content. As long as, um, Raze has a... Uh, where are we? Weapon. He does have a Silver Hammer. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm content at this point. I don't really see... The Axe is a slight, uh, upgrade. But it also downgrades my hit percentage, and it's worth 4,000, so I don't know. I think I'm better served spending that money on spells. But before that, let's check the armor. What do we have? Okay, so silver across the board, along with a buckler. Alright. So let's just take a look at my chart here, and what we have currently equipped. Okay, so Bits could probably use Iron Iron, but who else could use Silver? Um, let me see. Silver Armor, just Bits. Silver... Uh, Shield is also just Bits. The Buckler can be used by Ryu. But is the Buckler better than the Iron Shield, which he isn't using, actually? Hmm. Where... There's the buckler, okay. So the buckler is... Two? Am I reading that right? Buckler. Only two. Um... Hmm. Silver bracelet. Alright. Well, first things first, we can buy the silver armor and the silver gauntlet, right? So let's sell iron and let's sell iron. And then let's buy the silver armor. And then let's buy the silver gauntlet. Let's equip that, so now we have a full silver set. Okay. Um... So can anybody else, can any of the mages wear silver? I don't think so. Looks like the silver bracelet is like the only silver thing that they could wear. So how about the thief? Silver bracelet, buckler, and that's it. So does the buckler provide anything? I think I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and just sell the iron uh, shield and buy a buckler and hope <laughs> for the best. Uh, Alright, iron shield. And then we'll buy the buckler. 
And let's just see. I don't think it's gonna do much, though, either way. Oops. Status. We have... Absorb 17, Evade 62. 17... 62. Okay, so it does add, so that's good. 1962. Alright, eh. Was it worth it? Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. But we went with it, so this is kind of what we're going to do. Now we have the true... Oh, wait, hold up. Uh, raise. Now we have the true test here. I'm actually going to say that we shouldn't learn soft and exit is probably more appropriate at the moment. Oh, I can't... Hold on. I can't learn that? What? Oh, you know what? I think I ran into this problem. I don't remember if I mentioned it online, or excuse me, on video, or off video, but who could use exit? What is this? White six. Ah, uh, only the white wizard can learn that shit. God damn, man. I gotta keep that in the memory bank then. Well now, that blows. Well, Jimmy can learn Lightning 3. Um... <laughs> Alright. Well, shit, that kind of sucks, man. Well, at the very least, we'll buy Lightning 3, right? And you know what? I think I'm gonna save the rest of my money for later to make uh, some better decisions. Hopefully we could buy some softs. I don't remember if we can or not. But since we're not able to... I don't think we're even able to learn the soft spell right now. Just double checking here. Oh, I can learn the soft spell. Hmm. But it is a level six, so... I can't, yeah, technically... I can't even use a level 6 spell right now. Does that mean I can't... Oh, I can't even use Lightning 3 either. I'm not a high enough level. Well, shit, man. I guess that makes my choice for me, right? Town's not going anywhere, so... Uh, they don't have softs here either. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. <sighs> well, let's buy a couple pures. Maybe like five. I think we're at four right now, I wasn't paying attention. And we'll buy like, I don't know. Five heals as well. Well, hopefully we don't encounter too many uh, stone enemies here. Because we are not well equipped. Apparently from what I read, I missed a town that sells stone somewhere. Or uh, sells uh, soft. So I don't know if it was Provoca or Melmond. It might have been Melmond. I don't know. Every time I see weird, like, little gaps like that in RPGs, I feel compelled to check them. Even though I know there's probably nothing there. Alright. We, the Twelve Sages, were led here by the stars and prophecy. Once the orbs shined with the power of earth, wind, fire, and water, the four fiends seized those powers. Earth, wind, fire, and water, the world is bound by these four powers. Each element's power focuses at its altar. Locate and crush the fiend, then make it shine. Place the orb on the altar it guarded. Oh, wait, what? Was I supposed to do something with the orb? Four fiends are bent on the world's destruction. 200 years ago, the fiend of wind teamed with that of the water to destroy civilization. The earth fiend causes the rot of our land. The fire fiend will burn everything up. As you restore light to the orbs, we will reveal more secrets. Please see us repeatedly. Interesting. Light warriors, only you can make the orbs shine again. 
Quickly, before all is burnt, hurry to the Guguru, excuse me, Gurgu volcano and stop the Fiend of Fire. Great job, vanquishing the Earth Fiend. Now the Fire Fiend wakes. With this canoe, ah, uh, there you go. With this canoe, go to the volcano and defeat that Fiend also. Shit, man, so I didn't quite realize it, but... Yeah, we're gonna knock down two fiends in the next few parts here. I mean, obviously, uh, pending how quickly we can get through it, of course, but... I am Lucan, now all legends and prophecy will be fulfilled. Our path has been decided. Well, shit, now we got the, uh, we got the special boat that allows us... The canoe, excuse me. That allows us to go uh, to where we need to be. I'm gonna read something here real quick. I'm just like looking through the guide. In the beginning of the game, the fate of the four orbs held by the Light Warriors has been a mystery. Now in the presence of these wise men, some of the truth is revealed. Having defeated the Lich already, you will have noticed that one of the orbs has regained its light. But the three other orbs remain dark. You have to defeat each of the four elemental forces before each orb shines again. And even then, your task is not entirely complete. Also keep in mind that the Lich is the weakest of the four fiends, but don't let this knowledge dishearten you. Each time you defeat a fiend, you recover some of the lost power of the orbs. Seek the floater. Ah, so the dude that was sleeping. When you first encounter this fellow, he doesn't have much to say. But after defeating Carrie, the fire fiend, speak to him again. And he'll tell you to look for the floater in the ice cave. To receive this message, you must first defeat Carrie in the depths of the Gurgu volcano. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, <laughs> I love this. Remembering exit. The importance of the exit magic will become apparent as you reach even more difficult mazes and dungeons. Once you've uh, completed the class change, which is in another fucking 13 pages, so it's, it's a while. I gotta remember to come back here, and I did say that, and the guide's telling me to do it too, but obviously I really wanted the exit spell, so that's gonna be uh, on the menu, so to speak. But yeah, I guess the next place to go is the Gurgu Volcano. So let me just make sure that I'm properly equipped here, I guess. Um, I'm probably an okay level. I'm probably not the best level possible, but I'm probably okay. Um, I don't think that there's anything... I mean, I could buy the soft spell, but I don't really know if it's... Who's in there? Let me see. Hmm. Nah, I can't imagine fire enemies turn me into stone, you know what I mean? There's one that, uh, the Pearl... Perilisk? Resembles the Coctress. But it doesn't say anything about... Stone, so... And, uh, I should definitely equip my Dragon Sword when I go in there, because there's a bunch of Dragon enemies. Alright. Alright, let's, um... Freaking... <sighs> white mage, white mage. So I could buy soft, fog two, and invisible two. I'm actually thinking about buying invisible two. Hidden from view, all the warriors are subject to a 40% decrease in enemy attack. I want to see real quick. I know this is riveting with where I'm standing and everything, but I wanted to make sure that it doesn't have a bug. It doesn't look like it has a bug, so it looks like it functions properly. So I think I am going to buy that. I have enough uh, potions, right? 73... That should be more than enough to get through, and then I could... quote-unquote, grind the potion purchasing. The heal purchasing offline. So yeah, let's go buy the invisible thing. Uh, I mean, a 40% decrease in enemy attack is pretty high if that works as it intended. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Might be something good to cast in like the uh, the fiend battles. Okay. Although I don't think I could use it right now anyway. <laughs> so I don't know, guys. Whatever. Maybe I fucked up. Let's rest at the inn and let's head to the Gurgu Cave. That Gurgu Gurgu volcano. Jeez, excuse me. Alright, let's try out our canoe, shall we? Can we just, like, hop in? Oh, we can. Look at that. Moves pretty slow, though. It definitely moves a lot slower. 
The Hydra. I guess we're gonna get a good taste of if we should be fighting these things or not. Ooh, that thing hit me like 30. It's a little rough. I'm gonna say, like, I haven't really done any grinding in a little while. I think we're probably still a good enough level to take on what we need to take on here, but... I'm probably gonna end up having to grind at some point in the next few parts. Just to make things a little bit easier. You know, doing a playthrough, I don't want to escape by the hair on my chinny chin chin each time I'm going somewhere, you know what I mean? Because that puts, puts a lot of uh, room for error, if you will. Remember this shit. It's like kind of confusing. I think we go up this way and then a left. I'm not gonna bother. I'm not trying to waste Jimmy's magic, so if it's a single enemy or maybe like a double, I'll fight it, but otherwise, I'm not gonna, uh. <laughs> not gonna push my luck. I don't like the cut of your jib, Ocho. You remind me of the, uh, whatchamacalls. Can't remember their names right now. They're in a bunch of Final Fantasies, but in Final Fantasy IV, they're in that one, uh, the Sylvan Cave, where they afflict you with every freaking status condition under the sun. Which is god-awful. Oh, please don't poison me. We're not about that life. Get me out of here. No, don't do it. Don't poison me. Alright, good. Alright, I'm assuming the entrance is... Oh, okay. Hop on the... I was like, what? And then I forgot you could take one step and get in your canoe. Alright, guys, so this is the entrance to the uh, volcano. I think that's a good place to stop this particular part of the playthrough. So let's... How injured are we? Not really at all. Let's pop a tent. Oh wow, we're still not fully healed. Um, there we go. Good enough, good enough, right? Uh, I, I just realized if I stop it in real life, I gotta redo that heal. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so yeah, we kind of uh, geared up a little bit magic-wise, and Bits got some more silver armor at the Crescent Lake where we found the Circle of Sages, who were giving us good advice and ultimately a canoe uh, to go in the current stream-type areas. Um, and now, we are about to head into the Gurgu Volcano to take down the Fire Fiend, who guards one of the other orbs. So, tune in next time! And if you've been enjoying the playthrough, especially this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I do my best to reply to all comments on all videos, and I truly appreciate every single one of you who do watch the videos. I just wanted to take the time to say that. Even if it's only three or four people and you actually watch it and enjoy it, it really does mean the world to me. So thank you so much, and uh, until next time.